fashions, fads and all things frightful. This is Goldie live and direct from Bayside for passengers right here live and direct with the New York Connection. Tonight on Passengers, we cruise around Los Angeles with Femme to Femme. They give us the definitive guide to lesbian LA. Then it's chocks away in Holland for motor scooter mayhem. In Coventry, we meet the man behind the controversial street fighting class known as Animal Day. We get a front row seat for Jamaican star Patra's new X-rated video. In Tokyo, we meet pop star Hanayo, the world's only punk geisha. And we pay several visits to this week's diarist Goldie, Jungle's first superstar. He takes us from his Midlands roots and onto Miami. Goldie, this week's passenger's diarist, has taken jungle music from its underground inner city roots and crossed over into the big time. After recently performing at Glastonbury, his double album, Timeless, went into the top ten. As pop stardom beckons, passengers joined him in his London home. My album is about the last ten years of my life. And in there, yes, you will find Saturday night and you will find Sunday morning and you will find Wednesday afternoon. And you'll find angry, you'll find sweet nice, musical, deep. You'll find all of that. Once you're into Jungle, you can then make up your mind what you want to hear from it. What sound you want to get out of it. <laughs> so I said, listen, it's my fucking car in here. It's my fucking stereo. So mind your fucking business and fuck off. Yeah. It's plain as day why Jungle's here and why breakbeat culture rules, you know what I mean? The vibe of Jungle is dark because it's dark goings on right now out there. And when an environment gets taken so far, where they're being oppressed by a system and by bad policing and by bad community help and bad housing, which is the main thing which has caused the problem. They made a nest. They made a lair. You know, and they're now paying the price for that. And they blame it on the youth culture of today because of that situation. It's the first British music, really, probably since punk, really. It is just totally British. And it's the first thing that we've had and created for a long time. Goldie just came along and shifted everything and he's the godfather really. Goldie walks into a room, people look around. There's nobody out there that's doing what he's doing. They're all playing catch up, all of them. I don't know one of them that's, that's on his level. And music isn't even his, his first priority. I suppose his art is his first priority. I'm an artist, first and foremost. I was always like doomed to fail, so I was taught. And the only thing I really got on with at school was, was art. And now I look at a painting and I think of music and I listen to music and I think of painting. I can see that track. And that's what makes me different than people who just make music. I guess that's what makes it different. This is Cuts. Come to my shop. Come to my barber's shop. This is um, surrealness, man. And every week we're here. Week in. Week out. Week in. Week out. <laughs> week in. Week out. <laughs> He's the man. Surrealness. The cuts. <laughs> Basically, this is gold to start. This is the armadillo. This is armadillo. <laughs> the, <laughs> the classic armadillo, man. Goldie got his name from the days when he used to have long gold dreadlocks. In those days, he never had a haircut. Today, though, getting his haircut is a weekly ritual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking really burnt. It's just, like, just got all your heart, man. <laughs> 
the right geezer. That's what geezer, mate. Yeah, it's sweet, nice. You have to let him do what he does. He's not gold if, if, he, if he isn't wild, he isn't goldie. It comes out in his music, passionate to, you know, crazy passionate. The most important thing in, in my life at the minute, in Metal Edge, is my label. Because without the label, tomorrow's music can't exist even for me. And um, the label's like J Magic, it's like 17. I look to Goldie for a lot of my influences because, well, he's the sort of front runner to me. Dillinger, 19. We just want to make our music go as deep as we want to go and um, create a following, a, good, a big following, big enough following to. Let the music cross over a lot more. Lemon D, Jeremy from down south. You always listen to Goldie, because the age difference and he's got the actual know-how, do you know what I mean? The experience, he's been there, he's been places. It's my label, but it's their label. It's the, it's the artist's label. It's a springboard for people who want to deal with music and deal with the way they want to deal with it. And I think the, the thing about it is now that he's having it say now. 